London, Lagos, Kaduna rallies. P2 be successfully disrupted Nigerian politics. Omokri admits. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we we'll post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Renal Mercury is a social political activist and staunch supporter of the presidential candidate of the Atiku, the, of the People Democratic Party, PDP. Atiku Abubakar has admitted that anyone who belittles the supporters of Labour Party candidates, P2B, known as obedient, is not politically astute. Omokri, a major critic of the Labour Party presidential candidate, stated this while commending the obedience over the rallies in several parts of the country and London, the United Kingdom, on Saturday. Daily Post reports that thousands of Nigerians on the Independence Day staged rallies for Labour Party candidates in several parts of the nation. Kaduna, Bauchi, Edo, and many parts of Lagos State, including Freshtak, Lekki and Jigunli were shut down on Saturday by OB supporters who predominantly, who are predominantly youths. Reacting, the former presidential aide said in a post on his verified social media handles that P2B has successfully disrupted politics in the country. According to him, the simultaneous obedient rallies at Freshtak, Amuwo, Lekki, Kaduna and other towns and cities across Nigeria was amazing. The great achievement and anyone who tries to believe to them is not politically astute. It is not just the sheer number of attendees. Imagine the logistics behind organizing people at different ends of a nation. Commendable. Very commendable. Walabi will not win in 2023. He has successfully disrupted politics in Nigeria. Take Kaduna State on August 15, 2022. Nasar Rafai boasted that Obi will not get 200 persons on the street. Today, we saw close to 2,000. Yes, a lot of them are persons of Southeastern origins, but for one man's ambition to mobilize them in such a mesmerizing numbers is something to be admired. Persons without bitterness should be encouraged. Ah, hmm. uh, well, me too. I know Guru believes in, uh, say, let me really don't change you because tomorrow he might come with another bad boost. But see, for the, for the meantime, for the interim, be little any political party, whether you call them a cord, whether you call them SDP. Whether you call them a, a, um, a what's it called AAC, whether you call them YPP, whether you call them APGA, please belittle them at your own loss. In fact, if you're in a competition, even if you're the fastest runner, I've been the fastest runner alive. Eh? I, I, I used to say, no champions live forever. Even that person where they crawl like snail, eh? you should always be at your best because you don't know. I had the way where they train for your house or the way where they do things so they plan. Not some other person they plan make your own. Save they're okay. That's just it. P2B has successfully disrupted politics in Nigeria in a very positive manner. That is what you should be talking about. He did not just disrupt it, but he disrupted it in a very positive manner. Now whether you like it or not, hmm? whether you like it or not, like I was saying before, you don't get to you don't get to treat you other people, no matter how a champion you are, you must be always, you must pride yourself in always being ready at all times. You must pride yourself in always coming out to do your best. So other political parties, so if they come out, so if they keep saying the B doesn't have a structure, okay. Even with these particular people out, with the rallies, first of all, I still coming out to say, eh, these people are just saying uh, one polling unit or two polling units. And I'm saying, okay, keep living in the dark, keep living the fool's world. But I understand, Sha. You must not admit to your fears, Sha. If uh, you know, if you're somebody who uh, wants to be a doctor, hmm, you must not admit to your fears of, oh, okay, what if I make mistake? What if somebody dies? What if you know, if a doctor, people, doctor have that kind of fears, you know, you understand me? You must not give in to your fears. I understand, but coming out to say these people, are, you're still coming out to say these people are struggleless and they don't pose any threat to you. Is my brother, you're lying to yourself. Except maybe you're saying it just for outside, but inside, you know, in your heart of heart, that these people, they, 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 these people, they really do a lot. So this um, Peter B did not just disrupt; he disrupted politics for Nigeria. I mean, in Nigeria and the country, and made it better. People never believed sincerely. People never believed in this country. A lot of people have lost hope before he came along. We're not gonna lie to each other. We will not lie to ourselves. 
In fact, I keep asking this question, what if Obi had not left the People Democratic Party? What if we were just given the option of between the devil and the deep blue sea? You could choose one. It does not make sense, I tell you. It certainly does not make sense. But thank God what happened. It reminds me of an idea which says, what did not work for you, worked for you. What did not work for you, actually did work for you. So, um, in as much as I'm going to be encouraging, obi and clapping, obedience, I mean, obedience, make them not say, it is good to come out to represent, it is good to come out to say, you are supporting this man, it is good to come out to, you know, you know, sell a candidate. But the main action is to make sure you come out to vote for people. I mean, if you vote for your candidate, is to make sure you come out to vote for your candidate, come election day. Now the, now, the, now the main work with that. Just what I say, you build as finish. The roofing. You understand? You go roof and make it day okay. So that even the four, because it don't make sense. You didn't inside has your roof, they open. It don't make sense now. Uh -huh. So, or you didn't inside has, you don't put door. It don't still make sense. You understand? So, is to make sure they come out. Make sure they, 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 their vote counts. That they put their vote in. And make sure all this that they said is cemented very well. It is now balanced. Hmm? And in going to do this, this is what I'm going to say. So I am saying we should make sure that we come out to cast a vote for this person. And I've even given us tips. You know, when we know for this our country, I'm saying this because I've seen areas where they go to cast their votes and there's challenging. PD, that time now, PDP and APC, they start challenging themselves. And I'm saying, see... I would want to see these people shocked. Sincerely, I want to see these people shocked. I want them to come out and, you know, they are not, they are not, they are not themselves. If you go to your polling units, I've said this in my other news, and I'm saying it here. I know why. If you go to your polling units, and it be you like, say that place where you did, na PDP stronghold, na APC stronghold, hmm? even if na Labour Party stronghold, me na turn them down. I would want a situation where we said, and go feel, see everybody will come out and they vote for them. You go do you go ahead and you go pass. It's not a time. See, let us not let us not practice policies of bitterness. Most especially on the D Day, because if they know say this particular place, hmm, we'll be we'll be say maybe maybe APC now. Maybe they know say this a particular place now, they'll be then the way for there. Rig in their feet plan can't rig that place. I know what I'm talking about. But when it's obvious that not, if you come and you hate them, you went, you go and cast a vote for any other party that is not their party. Anybody will say for the A them. Uh -uh. Not just for that dinner. Yes, now. Not just for this election period. After that, they don't go eat them again. Hey, they say that they come. Hey, Jack, don't worry. I'm a win. You understand? Now, so, if you go to another place, like PDP, then, you know, give them that energy. If or what? Energy. Let them do what? Let them think they're winning. Sincerely, I've said it before. This is the only way I'm saying this for areas that ah last election 2015 I mean people died I mean people died for what you say they're not supposed you understand I go vote I know go vote now this person I go vote for you no need let us change that strategy come outside and give it to these people tell them that you love them you love their candidate vote for your own and leave what is time for this thing counting the votes when then you know there's not it's not a hair electronic combination of results they go, they go blow down. I can't see where they want to fall from snatch the distance. Uh -huh. I beg. On this note, we've come to the end of the news. So thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.